So today I'm going to be talking about rice water, um, how I use it in my hair, how I make it, and how I feel the benefits are for my hair. So um, I started using rice water about a year ago. Um, it doesn't have the best smell, but you know, the things that smell the best aren't always going to be good for your hair. So all that stuff that you be buying at the store with the chemicals, hold on one second. All the stuff you buying at the stores with the chemicals, not good for your hair. Um, it's usually better just to go the natural route when it comes to hair, your skin, your body, everything. So this is just another natural way that um, I use to grow my hair. So just like a backstory on my hair. I have very thick hair. I'm gonna actually insert pictures here so y'all can see what my hair looks like naturally because right now my hair is straightened and crimped and just like combed out. So this is way looser than my actual curls. Um, so my hair hasn't always been the best my whole life as in you know, I would grow up getting relaxers. I would get my hair straightened a lot. And so, of course, it's gonna end up very damaging for my hair, um, especially because I have um, Afro hair. I don't have like the kind where you can just straighten it, straighten it and it's like cool every day, I can't do that. Um, so, I didn't really treat my hair the best growing up. Um, I would dye it, I feel like I've dyed it every color imaginable especially in high school. I literally relax my hair every four, every two months actually, because I like the way it made my edges like soft and like manageable and all that, but it actually tore my hair. Um, it tore my hair very badly, slowly, but surely. I didn't see the damage until it was like too late, honestly. And I also cut my hair a lot. I would cut it like right here. One time I cut it behind my ears. I don't know how it grew back. I swear by rice water only because I cut my bangs in high school. Like my first year, my freshman year when I was 14. And my bangs never grew back all three or four years that I was in high school. And then like a year ago, I finally tried rice water when I was like 18. And my bangs started going back, and I was like, okay, so this stuff really works because literally nothing else worked on my hair. Like coconut oil, and like every oil, and nothing worked on my hair to make it go back. Um, rice water is the only thing that actually helps. Like a year or two ago, what was this? 2018, so yeah, two years ago. I relaxed my hair because I was actively, you know, relaxing it. And then I bleached it on top of that because I forgot that I previously relaxed it. And I burnt all of my hair up, literally. I took a shower after that. And I think, actually, I left the bleach on a little bit too long on top of that. And I was in the shower just combing my hair. And I was just watching chunks of my hair fly out. And I'm like... Oh my gosh, like what the heck? So yeah, I thought my hair was never gonna grow back, like ever. But look at my hair now. It actually goes past my shoulders for once in my life. My hair would always grow like to a certain length and just stop. I guess it's because I had split ends. That's another thing I would recommend. Um, cut your hair. If you have split ends, I know you wanna keep them little inches no cut it all off like the ends that are damaged cut them all off you don't need it like it may give you some length but would you rather your hair be long or healthy plus it's gonna grow back like 10 times quicker if you cut it anyway so just cut it so this is my video on how i make rice water and how i use it in my hair so let's move to the bathroom and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Alright, so first you're going to get your rice. 
Um, I don't think it matters what kind of rice it is, but I use jasmine and what you want to do is get like a container. You know, I use a tiny container because I use it pretty often. And so I just repeat these steps like every two weeks or so. And I'm using just an old Mario Badesco spray. I fill it up a lot just because, you know, usually you can just fill it up right here. Like I would recommend you guys to fill it up here. I like to be sure that it works so I add more rice, honestly. And then it's suggested that you use hot water just so that it can ferment, but I honestly don't think that it matters because you're not cooking the rice. You're just fermenting it. Like you're just gonna let it sit. I let mine sit for about a week and then I start using it. Let me see. Okay, cool. So here we have our rice water. I'm gonna let this sit for about a week. You can honestly let it sit for about two days, but I like to be extra sure, like I said. So I let it sit a little bit longer. And then, hold on. I'm gonna put, it's preferred that you use like a little spray nozzle just so that you can just spray it on your hair. You don't have to worry about any of the rice grains or anything. So yeah. I'm just gonna take this sticker off so that it doesn't confuse y'all. regular bottle of rice water um, you can honestly use it on your face too I don't use it on my face um, so what I do is I'll spray it in my hair like if I'm just cleaning or cooking or if I'm about to go to sleep and I let it sit for about you know just as long as you want I feel like the longer that you leave it in the more effective it is um, so I leave it in for a while and then I rinse it out in the shower and just make sure it's all out because if you let some of it sit in your hair, it's gonna smell really bad. Like fermented things smell really bad. Especially this tiny little bottle, it's gonna smell really bad. Like literally a year ago, my hair was like right here. Like it was like at a butt cut and I'm gonna include pictures. And now look. My hair is flourishing. So yeah, I'm sharing my beauty tricks with you. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you use it, send me pictures or reviews or anything. Because I really want to know what it, how it helps you guys. If it helps you guys. Sorry, my brush is falling off the So yeah, if it helps you, definitely let me know. Um, you have to be really consistent with it. So don't forget about that part. You have to be really consistent. Um, try to rinse your hair with cold water when you use it. If you use hot water, it's very damaging to your hair. So, let's grow our hair, girly. Let's grow our hair. All right, let me know, girlies.